Hello ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? It is me, T7 Gaming here with another episode, and today we are back with a talk show with the Neo Cubist. How are you doing? I am doing pretty good. How about you? I'm doing dandy. So, um, tell us a little bit about your channel for those of us who don't know. Alright, uh, my name is Neo, or Lee, on YouTube, the Neo Cubist, and I upload a lot of Minecraft content. I am looking to branch out to other games, but so far that hasn't happened. Uh, uh, my channel's grown just because of the tutorials I produce. I try to do simple things that people can follow easily, and I think I've accomplished that. And that's led to the growth, and I'm currently at 101,000 subscribers. Very lucky. Nice. And speaking of your uh, subscriber count, how do you feel about recently hitting 100 subscribers? Uh, well, you know, to be quite honest, I don't really know how to feel about it. I mean, it's obviously I'm very thankful for it, but I just I don't know how to feel because I never thought that I would reach that big. I just, when I started out, I just kind of wanted to do it for fun and stuff. And I mean, yeah. I still do it for fun, obviously. It's a lot of fun, but it's just, you, when you do something as a hobby, you know, and then it just turns into almost like a job, it's just, it's crazy. It really is crazy. Yeah, I remember I knew you back, I remember you had just hit 50,000 subscribers. Yep. And you've grown yep. a long way since then as a YouTuber and a person and yeah, yep. everything. So mm -hmm. proud of your achievements, man. Thank you. Um, yeah. Speaking of, how did you get started on YouTube, and where did your name come from? That kind of stuff. All Tell right. us about it. All right. So my name, quite an interesting story. I played with these uh, neodymium magnetic spheres. They were called uh, Neo Cubes, and I wanted to start a channel just with like back in I think 2009 or 10 or whatever, and I wanted to start a channel uh, showing how showing people how to do things with these Neo Cubes, and they were like. I don't know, they were really popular and then they got banned because children were swallowing them or something. But anyways, I named my channel The Neo Cubist because of these magnetic spheres. And it just kind of stuck. I mean, I, th I think it's great for Minecraft because cube and then, yeah. I don't know, people sort of connect the dots there. I and originally like thought that your name was like based off Picasso because he was uh, like the starter of cubism and Minecraft is all cubes. So yeah. if you're the like, Neo Cubist, you're bringing back cubism. I, I have no idea what cubism is, but it sounds <laughs> fancy. So uh, just starting out on YouTube, I started out with a Minecraft Let's Play, not really knowing how to grow. And I realized that eventually, all right, I eventually realized that wasn't going to help me grow because no one's going to watch a small YouTuber play a game that already a million other people play. <laughs> More than a million, way over a million. Yeah. And when bigger guys are already doing Let's Plays, there's no point in someone watching someone that's smaller with less production quality. And obviously, who was very, very nervous for his first video, which I was, because I was like, hey, guys, what's up? You yeah. <laughs> it sounded like that. I didn't even have my intro down yet. But, yep, then I moved on to mod reviews, and then I finally found my place doing tutorials. And that's where I stand currently. Yeah. Um, so, I asked Twitter what they want to um, know about you, and one of your followers asked you, what is your favorite house from all of your tutorials? My favorite house from all of my tutorials. Uh, I'm going to have to say, honestly, it's my latest mansion tutorial. I absolutely love that house. If I were going to play survival, which I usually don't because I've just played the game so long and it's boring to me, but <laughs> if I did play survival, I would definitely build that house and I would definitely live in it. I love that house. If you guys haven't seen that, you should check it out. But you, if you subscribe to me, you've probably already seen it. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah. Um, all right, and another one of your followers asks you, will you ever consider making a horror game series with a face cam for reactions? Um, you know, honestly, I don't know. I think that would be really fun to do, but at the same time, I, I, I don't really get that scared of horror games. I used to when I first started playing them, like, you know, obviously not on YouTube or anything, but in my own free time, I would sometimes right. play them just to see if I'd get scared. And I did it first, you know, as everyone does, and then I just sort of got desensitized to it. But, I mean, if you guys really... Oh, no, I, I dropped something on my keyboard. If you guys really want to see something like that, then I can do that. But I don't know. It's just probably not something I do just because of yeah. my channel. But I don't know. Yeah, Listen. it's kind of hard to do something if you, like, know you're not going to get the react. You're going to give your, the audience the reaction that you're that yeah. they're looking for. Yeah, and I, I don't want to fake a reaction or anything. Yeah, exactly. Like, oh, God! Oh, I'm so scared! Yeah. <laughs> now, like, someone like Markiplier, he's just hilarious. He has a great personality. He's a great guy. And Markiplier does a lot of, you know, horror games with, 
you know, face cams. He's just hilarious. But yeah. uh, just I don't have that sort of personality, so I'm not sure it would go over as well as with someone like him. Yeah, I remember whenever I first did Happy Wheels, I, like, tried to, like, over-exaggerate my reactions whenever someone would, like, start getting cut, like, or, and, you know, fall or die or something like that. And yeah. it was just, like, really hard to keep going with the over-exaggerated, like, exaggerations yeah. and reactions and all that. Mm -hmm. So I just kind of stopped doing Happy Wheels as a whole. Yeah. Um, all right, so you have a server, as many mm -hmm. people know. Um, how is it doing? So uh, I do have a server. I have Parallax MC, which is a network of servers. Yeah. Uh, I'm a co-owner with two other people. Then I have Neo Dude, which is currently down right now. We're trying to get some things worked out. We're trying to get a new version up for you guys. And keep in mind, all of your ranks will still be there, all of your donor ranks, everything you've got. I have a list of all of you, and I will give you your ranks back on that server. If it doesn't work out with the Parallax thing, then I'm just going to start hosting it again uh, with uh, Dude12121 or Dude the Great on the server. Yeah. So don't worry about that. But it was going really well before uh, we had some issues with plugins and it would just crash constantly. But it was going really well. I think people really enjoyed it. And yeah, it was a lot of fun. Cool. All right. So uh, what do you think is the future of the Neo Cube? It's now that you've hit probably one of the biggest milestones on YouTube um, other than 1 million subscribers. So where do I think I'm going? See, that that's a question I haven't even asked myself yet. But I will try to answer it as best as I can. Uh, I really, I just want to branch out. I want to be one of those channels where you can just come on and just enjoy my content and enjoy my personality and stuff. And I don't know, like I, I want to do Minecraft tutorials still, but at the same time, I've done everything I know how to build. I have built two or three of everything you can build in Minecraft. And I know you may say, well, did you build Taj Mahal? But I'm not talking about specific things like that. Yeah. I try to focus on like survival tutorials and I have done literally everything I can think of. Yeah. Like, so I don't know. I, I want to continue that, and obviously that's what I'm known for, but at the same time, maybe I want to change a little, uh, change up a little bit, play some different games. A lot of you have requested Terraria, and maybe I don't I don't see my future being as ter being like a Terraria YouTuber, but that might be fun to play and do a series on or something. Yeah, I just kind of don't like that game, actually. I played it once, and I just, I don't know, something was offsetting about it, probably because I felt like it was a ripoff of Minecraft, but... <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. It's yeah, not. Terraria was their first. Terraria, Terraria. Well, Terraria. they well they came into popularity about the same time, but Terraria is a completely, it's an it's an RPG game. If You you can play it like Minecraft, I guess, if you want, but it, it's more of an RPG game, and it's actually a lot of fun. Uh, sometime if you want to play it with me, we can, but it's just a really, really cool game. All right. It's, it's awesome. Cool. And then uh, last question. I'm pretty sure everyone wants to know this. What advice would you give to all starting YouTubers? All right. So this is going to be some gold right here. I really should make people pay for this, but at the same <laughs> time, I don't really care. It's not that big of a deal. Something that I wish someone had told me when I started. So if I was mentoring myself when I started, here's what I'd say to myself and to all you other small YouTubers out there. Stop. All right. You got that. Stop. Stop. Doing. Doing. Let's let's plays plays of popular games of popular games. Okay, what's stop. that? Just stop. Why? Well, okay. Let's let's just. I'm gonna use Markiplier for an example. He may not even play this game. Let's say, and I'm just gonna do the most stereotypical thing: Minecraft, right? right. Let's say Markiplier has a Minecraft survival let's play, right? He has a great mic, great recording software, great computer. Everything is great. It's just perfect to watch. He edits it really well. And it's just a beautiful video to watch, and it's really entertaining. And then you have your survival let's play. And I'm not saying you're not as capable of him. You may be as capable, you may, but you just you may not have the experience. You may not have the money he has. You just it it's it's not fair. But that's the way life is. Life isn't fair. No one's gonna want to watch you because it may not even be that your videos suck. It, people just may want to be a part of a bigger community. They may want to watch videos on a bigger channel so they can be like a part of something. And if they watch it on your channel, your videos may not be as good. They may not be exciting. They don't know if you're just going to randomly stop and then they've gotten like 10 episodes in and then you've just stopped the series and you're like, dang, I wanted to know what happened. But with Markiplier or just any bigger YouTuber in general, they have a standard. They have something they have to abide by. They're not just going to randomly stop making a series in the middle of the series. That just wouldn't make sense. And beyond that, I mean, just... Try to find something that not a ton of other people do. Maybe try to make a spin-off of something someone does. 
but don't do what other people are doing. And I know that's cliche, and I know it really probably doesn't make that much sense. But for instance, how I made my own little niche of videos was I was watching Corrales, and he does some awesome house tutorials, amazing builder, way better than I could ever hope to be. But his videos are so hard to follow. Like, yeah. it's not that he's too bad at explaining. He's not bad at explaining. Maybe I'm just bad at building. I don't know. But I have to watch a video three or four times to get, like, one part of the house done. And on my videos, people are telling me they can just watch the video and as it's playing, play Minecraft and build the house. And that's what I wanted to create was easy tutorials people could follow. The average person could follow like me. And I think I did it. And it worked quite well. But another piece of advice, and this is going to be my final piece of advice, don't get discouraged. I got discouraged a lot. And you may seem that you're, you, you, it may seem that your growth is stunting and you may not be growing anymore, but honestly, you just got to keep at it. And no one grows overnight. That doesn't happen. It took me three years to get to where I am now. And I know that sounds like a long, long time, but believe me, around a year and a half into it, it was just rolling and rolling. And now I'm here and it's just put me in a dizzy, put me in a dizzy. Uh, that wasn't the right word. Put me into a, I don't know, whatever. It just sort of came up on me quickly and... I'm really excited about it. It's really awesome. But yeah, just stay true to what you do. Try not to let people get to you in the comment section. Just block them. That's what I do. I don't even care what they say. If it's negative, I block it. I just don't need that negativity in my life. And yeah, good luck to you all. <laughs> yeah, I kind of went through like a huge um, like phase last year where I was just like so discouraged. And I mean, I, I had 100 subscribers, which is like more than I could imagine at the time. Mm -hmm. And I was really discouraged because, first off, I couldn't come up with any original ideas anymore. Second yeah. off, because I was horribly, like, not sleeping. Yeah. Uh, so that kind of affects it. And mm -hmm. I wasn't, like, organized with what I was doing. So a piece of advice that I would give is kind of be organized. Like, I have an ideas notebook and a um, to-do list, which is things that I need to do uh, to get my videos out there. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, a little I'm... piece of advice I have. Any questions I... that you have for me? Uh, questions I have for you. Hmm. You weren't prepared uh, for this, were you? No, I was not. <laughs> uh, give me a second here. In terms of YouTube, correct? Anything. Uh, what made you want to start YouTube? Funny story. Okay, so my friend, okay, he had a YouTube channel, mm -hmm. and he told me, he bet me, actually. He said, I bet you can't get 10 subscribers by the end of the week. And um, I started a YouTube channel, and I got 10 subscribers by the end of the week. And then my st channel just stopped growing. I stopped uploading videos, and then I was just like, you know, I actually want to kind of do lots of redstone tutorials, you know, because I really yeah. like redstone. So I made this really, 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 really bad build. Mm -hmm. I don't know what, like, made me think was, like... What was it? It was a sand-slash-gravel pusher back when there was only sand and gravel in... That had falling blocks, huh. and literally all it did is it made a 12 by 12 block of sand. That's it. And um, I like looked back on it, and I was like, I can make that same build in half the size. Yeah. And it's just like kind of impressive how how much I've grown, mostly through the help of uh, YouTuber Mumbo Jumbo, because I watch a lot of his videos, and I've learned a lot of like the nitpicky stuff about redstone, and that's what I. I kind of want to do. I kind of want to start a re uh, redstone series about like all the nitpicky stuff, like down to the basic details. But mm -hmm. every time I try recording it, it's just always like something's missing about it. So I'm just gonna yeah. give it some time, think about it, and then reproduce. Sounds good. I mean, yeah. you really do. You have the ambition. I, I think you're gonna grow. It's just gonna take time, and it has taken time. But as long as you just keep at it, you will get to my size, maybe even bigger. You just Thank never you. know. Thank you. So luck of the draw. It's not even really luck, honestly. Like people say, oh, you're just you just got all those because you bought them, or you're just lucky. Yeah. And no, that's not how it works. It's not it's how hard anything work. in life works. It takes hard work and effort. And if you don't put the effort and hard work into it, you'll never grow. You can buy subs. All you, I mean, you can buy subs, right? Yeah. And if you buy subs, out, though, hold up one second. If you buy subs, you're not gonna have an active viewer like viewerships. And I see a mm -hmm. lot of channels that with like eight thousand like. 10,000 subs that get 70 views per video and yeah. I have a hundred 200 subs now and I'm getting 70 views per video so yeah exactly and I mean even if like their viewer count is low like on my channel right I've never done any of that never even considered any of that but I have a hundred one thousand subscribers I upload a video I'm only get 15,000 views 
And the reason it's like that is because maybe those other 80% of people aren't on YouTube. They're not interested in that specific video. So another piece of advice is try to have cap. And I know you can't do thumbnails when you first start out, but when you have the ability to do custom thumbnails, try to make them pop, try to make them look like you Accurate. put effort into them. Cause that it's like the book, it's like the, the cover of a book, right? It's, it's what's going to try to count. I know you shouldn't judge a book by its cover, but that's what people are doing on YouTube. Yeah. They're judging the video by the thumbnail. If your thumbnail looks like crap or there is no custom thumbnail, chances are they aren't going to click on it. Another thing is title needs to be, you know, keyword optimized. And I can talk about that at a later time, but that <laughs> I can go way into that. And then the first sentence of the description has to be keyword optimized. But I mean, I don't know. Just don't give up. Right. Stick true to your dream. And eventually it may come true or it may not. Just yeah. depends. Just depends. Just depends. All right. So I think that's about all the time I have really for this interview. Before you go, I'd just like to say thank you for all the help you've given me personally as a friend and a YouTuber no uh, throughout no. life. Hopefully we can hang out soon once band is not crushing me down. <laughs> yeah, sounds good. <laughs> and sure. yeah, so if you guys are on my channel and you've never heard of Lee, go check him out. Um, he's a great YouTuber, does amazing house tutorials, and he's inspired me to do some house tutorials, which compared to him, I suck. But I, I just do them every once in a while because it's, it's actually kind of relaxing building a house, mm -hmm. knowing that it's it, there's there's no like technical troubleshooting that you have to do with a house, you know? Like that's yeah. the problem with Redstone. Something doesn't work, you got to troubleshoot. So <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. And, and also, guys, to all of my viewers out there, make sure to check out T7 Gaming's channel. Leave him a subscription. Leave him a like on this video. Can we try to get this video? Let's see. Uh, how many The like people? guru speaks. Let's see. Can we do 250 likes on this Ooh, video? Dang, and that's, that's a lot. I want to see his subs grow. Let's see. I This is a long shot, but can we get him over 500? That'd be pretty wow. cool. Thank but you, definitely man. look at his content. It's going to be really awesome. Just check out his channel. It has a lot of videos, and they're all really helpful, and I like them. Good quality, too. And, yeah, thank you Thanks, guys man. a lot for watching. All right. See ya. Peace.